Welcome, literature enthusiasts and quote lovers, to Quote Almanac, where we delve into the stories behind the words that have shaped our world. Today, we are embarking on a journey through the life and legacy of one of the greatest poets of the 18th century, Alexander Pope. Known for his sharp wit, satirical style, and remarkable ability to weave words into timeless pieces of art, Pope's work has left an indelible mark on the literary world. So let's unravel the enigma of this literary giant together. Alexander Pope was born in London in 1688, and from a young age he showed a prodigious talent for poetry. Battling health issues and societal prejudice due to his Catholic faith, Pope's journey was anything but easy. Yet he persevered, using his pen as a sword to navigate the turbulent waters of his time. One of Pope's most famous quotes, To err is human, to forgive divine, speaks volumes about his understanding of human nature and morality. It tells us that while making mistakes is a part of being human, forgiving is a godly, divine act. This quote, often used to promote empathy and forgiveness, showcases Pope's deep philosophical insights and his ability to encapsulate complex ideas in a few powerful words. But Pope was not just a philosopher. He was also a master satirist. His most famous work, The Rape of the Lock, is a satirical epic that lampoons the high society of his time. Through this masterpiece, Pope showcased his ability to turn even the most trivial of incidents into grand epic tales filled with humor and wit. Another notable quote from Pope is, A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep or taste not the Pierian spring. This quote warns against the dangers of superficial knowledge, encouraging us to delve deeper into our pursuits of wisdom. Pope's emphasis on thorough learning and understanding highlights his belief in the transformative power of education. Pope's impact on literature was profound, but his life was also riddled with challenges. He faced criticism, health issues, and societal prejudice, yet he never let these hurdles dampen his spirit. His resilience and determination to express himself through his poetry are truly inspirational. As we delve deeper into Pope's life and works, if you're finding this journey through words and wisdom intriguing, do consider subscribing to our channel, Quote Almanac, for more enriching content like this. Moving on, let's talk about Pope's style and contribution to literature. He was a master of the heroic couplet, a poetic form that he polished and perfected like no other. His ability to express complex ideas with clarity and precision made his work both accessible and profound. Pope's influence extended beyond his own time, shaping the literary landscape for generations to come. His work is studied, analyzed, and admired to this day, testament to the timeless nature of his words and insights. Yet another famous quote from Pope is, Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. This quote from An Essay on Criticism serves as a cautionary reminder to think before we act, highlighting the importance of prudence and wisdom in decision-making. Pope's ability to turn a phrase into a life lesson is unparalleled, and this quote is a perfect example of that. As we approach the end of our journey through Alexander Pope's life and legacy, let's take a moment to reflect on the wisdom, wit, and remarkable literary skills of this 18th century genius. Pope's words have transcended time, continuing to inspire, challenge, and enlighten readers around the world. In his lifetime, Pope faced adversity, but he also enjoyed great acclaim. He was a central figure of his literary circle, respected by peers and critics alike. His life was a testament to the power of resilience, the beauty of words, and the impact that one individual can have on the world. Continuing our deep dive into the life and legacy of Alexander Pope, it is worth noting how his physical challenges impacted his work and worldview. Standing at just four feet six inches due to a form of tuberculosis that affected his spine, Pope never let his stature define him. Instead, he channeled his experiences of pain and prejudice into his poetry, creating works that resonated with depth and authenticity. Pope's life was a constant battle against societal norms and expectations. Living in a time of religious and political turbulence, Pope, a Catholic, found himself excluded from formal education and barred from many professional opportunities. However, he turned these obstacles into opportunities, educating himself through extensive reading and exploration of the world of letters. One of the remarkable aspects of Pope's work is his ability to blend the personal with the universal. His poems are rich tapestries of human experience, woven with threads of his own life, observations, and thoughts. In an essay on man, Pope delves into the nature of humanity, exploring themes of existence, morality, and the pursuit of happiness. He writes, Hope springs eternal in the human breast. Man never is, but always to be blessed. Here, 
Pope encapsulates the eternal optimism of the human spirit, the unquenchable desire for happiness and fulfillment. Pope's contributions to literature extend beyond his poetry. He was also a keen critic, and his essay on criticism offers a sharp analysis of the literary landscape of his time, providing guidelines for writers and critics alike. One of his famous lines from this work, a little learning is a dangerous thing, serves as a warning against the pitfalls of superficial understanding, urging us to seek deeper, more comprehensive knowledge. The friendships and rivalries that Pope formed with other literary figures of his time also played a significant role in his life and work. His close association with figures like Jonathan Swift and John Gay allowed for rich intellectual exchanges and collaborations, while his rivalries with writers like Lady Mary Wortley Montague and Lord Hervey fueled some of his most biting satirical work. Pope's The Dunciad, a satirical poem attacking what he perceived as the cultural decline of his era, stands as a testament to his wit and his willingness to wield his pen as a weapon against ignorance and corruption. In this work, Pope takes aim at the mediocre writers and critics of his time, exposing their follies with his sharp satirical style. Pope's relationship with nature and his garden at Twickenham is another fascinating aspect of his life. He transformed his riverside retreat into a haven of beauty and contemplation, reflecting his love for the natural world and his belief in the restorative power of nature. Pope's garden was not just a physical space, but also a source of inspiration for his poetry, a sanctuary where he could retreat from the troubles of the world and commune with the muses. As we continue to explore the rich tapestry of Alexander Pope's life and work, it's clear that his legacy is as complex as it is enduring. His ability to capture the intricacies of human nature, his mastery of the poetic form, and his unwavering commitment to his art have solidified his place as one of the giants of English literature. Now, as we near the end of our journey through Alexander Pope's world, let's reflect on the relevance of his work today. In an age of rapid change and uncertainty, Pope's words continue to offer wisdom, solace, and a sharp reminder of the follies of human nature. His call for deeper understanding, critical thinking, and the pursuit of genuine knowledge is as pertinent now as it was in the 18th century. Pope's life story, filled with challenges, triumphs, and an unyielding passion for literature, serves as an inspiration for all who seek to make their mark on the world through the power of words. His journey teaches us the importance of resilience, the beauty of self-education, and the transformative power of literature. So, dear viewers, as we conclude this comprehensive exploration of Alexander Pope's life, his genius in poetry, and his timeless legacy, we hope that you've gained a richer appreciation for this literary master and the enduring power of his words. If this journey through the world of Alexander Pope has ignited a passion for poetry and a curiosity for literary exploration in you, then we've achieved our goal here at Quote Almanac. Remember, the world of literature is vast and filled with treasures waiting to be discovered. And so, we invite you to like this video, share it with fellow literature lovers, and subscribe to Quote Almanac for more immersive journeys into the lives and works of history's greatest writers and thinkers. Together, let's continue to celebrate the power of words, the beauty of poetry, and the enduring legacy of literary giants like Alexander Pope. Thank you for watching, and until our next literary adventure, keep reading, keep exploring, and keep inspiring.